Hello and welcome to the Jurassic Outpost video review for the Mattel Fallen Kingdom Action Attack Carnotaurus from Jurassic World. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going over the box design very quickly before I pop it out. On the back of the box, you can see a few different callouts. Um, the toy itself, uh, it's showing you how to use it. And then of course you have the Action Attack Stegosaurus, the Triceratops, uh, for the Roar of War Triceratops, and the Roar of War Baryonyx. And then it tells you to go to JurassicWorld.com. Anyways, I'm going to pop it out of the box. It has four strategically placed plastic straps that you have to cut to remove it. Um, it's a pretty easy box removal. However, it's not so easy that you're going that like you're going to have issues with people ripping them out of the box at toy stores. At least not too frequently. Um, it's pretty sealed in there. But once you cut those straps, it sort of just pops right out, which is really nice, as you can see. And you can always place it back in the box for display afterwards. Um, and then with a simple button press, you can use the action attack feature. Um, you can get this really nice bite. Um, on the bottom of the feet, you have two things. You have a DNA strand looking QR code, which goes to an app that is not launched yet. And then you have the new Jurassic World insignia on the bottom of the foot. That's replacing the JW marker that used to be on the legs. As you can see, the biting mechanism varies on how you feather the button, which gives you a wide range of play factor. It has a different uh, range of articulation, so the hips can pivot in and out as well as back and forth, which is really nice. Um, it gives you a little bit wider range of play as well as posability and help it balance. The tail, once again, goes up, down, left, right, um, and it can rotate all around, which is really nice. And then plus you can see all the detail in the sculpt, which is just absolutely wonderful. And then the arms are pretty articulated as well. They're very small though, so you can't do too much with them. Again, you can see how realistic the sculpt is. It has a ton of detail and the paint job is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it looks just like the Carnotaurus in the movie. And then it range, it's about uh, 14 to 15 inches long. And then there is next to the 2011 Dino Showdown Allosaurus and a three and three quarter inch human, which is about the same size as the humans from the Mattel toy line that are coming out. Here it is next to the Demon Carnotaurus from Jurassic Park, the first toy line, which is a very, very popular toy amongst collectors. I'm really impressed with this toy. It looks fantastic, and the fact that it only cost $19.99 and is about 15 inches long is actually really impressive. The Fallen Kingdom toy line releases April 16th, so don't miss it when it hits the store shelves then. And stay tuned for more reviews from Jurassic Outpost.